Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Today is July 3rd, 2023, and being that it is right before a holiday, I could think of nothing better to do than spend the day in a hideously busy theme park. You what? excited, Goo? Why do we have to do this? Why not? It's, it's busy, it's hot. It's it literally is. over 100 degrees out today, mm -hmm. so I don't know what we're doing. But yeah, we're here at Universal here at City Walk. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I'm excited, we have some good plans. We're gonna get lunch at Cowfish, which I really, really enjoy. I think then we're gonna go into the parks. There's also some new Barbie ice cream yeah. at the um, the Cold Stone, so we might try and get that. I don't know what to think of all this, yeah. but we're gonna eat sushi, we're gonna see the Cowfish. I think we're gonna have a really fun day. Yeah. So that being said, I think we're gonna check into our Cowfish. We'll go from there, and I think it'll be pretty fun. All right, let's go get our sushi. I feel like Matt's gonna horrify me here, but we're gonna see what happens. There's waves there, there's cows, there's fishes. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It's like an authentic burger sushi bar. Yeah. yeah. I've never been to one, but I also have the QR code yeah. here, so if you want to follow along on the menu. Twist it around. What's on the other side? Yeah. Wow. Burgers and cows and fish. I mean, what more could you want? This is great. And we did get an appetizer here. This was the crab ring green dip, I think. There you go. It's These are like wonton chips with some kind of spicy sauce on top. And then a crab rangoon type filling, like casserole thing. This is one of my favorite things to get here. So I, like I've stuff. been here a couple times. This never disappoints me. Yeah. So I think I'll be good with it. But I got a very adventurous meal. So we're going to see if it lives up to the excitement. But either way, so far so good. The atmosphere is good. The food looks good. I'm happy. Looks like Matt's going to get into this. Yeah, I get a little bit up here. That is really nice. The dip itself is really rich, but then you get the like sweet and spicy sauce on top of the wonton chips. That goes really well with it. It's kind of a, it's a nice combination all together and the crispness from the chip. It tastes like a good. It it's does, great. yeah, yeah. I think this is a good one. Ooh. Thank you. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Good. All the things you need for sushi are here. I'm excited, this will be great. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. So good. this is the cheeseburger burgerushi. The all American else. double cheeseburger. All American all double. double bacon cheeseburger. It looks good. You can have like a burger on there. You have the onions. Yeah. It looks good for what it is. And Matt got this like combo. Yeah, there's sushi. There's um, a California roll, a spicy tuna roll, and then some various sushi here. I it feel looks like good. Matt has made this place out to be like the best restaurant ever. It is. So good. we're gonna see if it kind of lives up to those expectations. You want to give it a try? Yeah. I don't know what to try first. I gotta say I'm not a huge fan of cucumber and sushi. And I think there is cucumber in this sushi. So we'll see how it ends up being. There is a lot of cucumber in it, but I feel like the way they chop it, it's not as bad as I was expecting it. And I think they like marinate it in something too because there's some kind of sauce around it which gives it a nice flavor. So I, I think this is good so far. I like the... Um, the spicy tuna roll, that's what that is. What do you think of your burger sushi good? It's surprisingly good. Yeah. They like coat it with potatoes on the outside. Oh wow, so it's like crispy. Yeah. It's good, I can get pickles on it, or tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But overall it's nice, it's a nice thing here. It's unique, it's fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this, this is great. I like how the um, potatoes kind of act as fries. Yeah. So you get the whole the whole meal in one, one bite. All good. It appears you are not a member of the Clean Plate Club here. You did not eat your banana leaf. What do you have to say for yourself? You didn't eat the rest of your sushi. I'm not done yet. I'm still eating. Well, either way, I can say it was a very good meal. I don't know. I feel like this is this is a fun thing. It's a great lunch meal for sure. Yeah. But either way, I feel like I really want to try like all the restaurants at City Walk and try them all. But this is a good one. I enjoyed it a lot. I was very happy with it. Overall, I thought the sushi was really good. It wasn't a bad price at all for the amount I got. The cucumber was a little bit much for me, but if you like cucumber in your sushi, 
I mean, you got a lot of it, like a, a lot of it. And also, it's not like really busy here today. Today's the 3rd of July, yeah, so like yeah. the day before the 4th. Mm -hmm. It's not busy at all, so I feel like we got a reservation easily. Yeah, I got it this morning, I, yeah. like two hours yeah. ago. So. Yeah. so either way, I think we had a great meal. We'll probably talk more outside, but this was really fun. I enjoyed this. And as we're leaving, I just want to say you have fish, you have cow, you have all the thing, all the essentials here. Yeah, over there you have a sushi burger. Yeah. A sushi burger and a fish bowl. So they have everything here. I feel like so far so good. It's been a great day. Look, there's actual fish in what's the sushi burger. I didn't see that. It looks like a cowfish. It does, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Look, they even put a lot of cucumber in their fake sushi too. They just like cucumber here. At least it's not pickles. They tried to put pickles on mine. Well, that was good. I liked yeah. that. Everything was good. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. We saw the cow fish. We got to see fish. Are you happy? I enjoy the lot. Yeah. You know, I'm happy we got to go. It's been a long time. I'm glad we got to finally show it to you. I feel like a lot of restaurants we like to go to, we just go to off camera. Yeah. So I feel like it was great to show it to you guys on this on the video here mm -hmm. today. But going from there, we are not done yet. We're here at the Universal Orlando Resort. So of course we do need to go into a park. You excited you will go into Universal Studios first? Yeah. I mean, I'm excited to see the crowds. I'm probably gonna walk in and leave because it's gonna be so busy. Yeah. But we'll get a little bit of like um, construction. Look at the minions. Look at. You haven't been here since. I haven't minion seen Cafe. the minion cafe. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we'll look at everything. Maybe we'll get a popsicle. You never know what will happen. So who knows what this day will bring us? So we made it in the park, and here is the Minion Land. Yeah. Most of it's open except the Villain Con ride. And I don't seen think that. Sign before. Yeah, you've seen the sign. I haven't seen the cafe with the walls yeah, down. Yeah, the cafe is down. We get a popsicle. We could, yeah. Yeah, or popcorn that tastes like That's bananas. True. Yeah, yeah. There's limitless things. I know. Can, there's all kinds of stuff. I don't think you've gotten anything from cake, um, Bake My Cake or Cake My Bake or bake whatever. Bake My Day. That thing, yeah. Yeah. So maybe we'll get something there. We'll see what we end up doing. Well, over here in the Villain Con, you can get like a ID badge to be an official villain. We did this before. It was in um, the... Yeah, they had a born one where you get yeah. like your born ID tag. Oh, yeah. look at that. <laughs> Enter villain name. Goo. <laughs> Enter. Thank you, Goo. Okay. Yourself done, but, well, when you are ready, hold the camera. Yeah, hold the camera. Make a villainous face. You'll never guess what his villain name is. Goo. Goo? Yeah. yeah. Goo. Look. Which one are you going to choose? <laughs> How much is it? See what it is. Oh, there we go. $10. So much. Yeah. You're gonna skip. I might skip. Honk if you love villain Kong. Well, I don't Honk. have a car. What? I think that was a very interesting and decent souvenir for $10. Yeah. Not necessarily something we need. But... I would do it if it was five. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll come back. But yeah. I like that they're adding more things like this. Even small things like this are great. Well, and here it is, Minion Cafe with the walls down. I won't go into too much detail because Goo's already shown most of it. But I will say the Dr. Perkins up there, that's a new addition. So that's kind of neat, up there on his evil bank. But I like the outside of this. I like the facade, I like the signs and the different art and stuff. There's a long line to get a popsicle, I guess, because it's so hot. But there's really not much of a line at all to get in the Minion Cafe itself. So maybe we'll go in. I think Goo said he wanted to get a dessert. Maybe we'll go in and try some stuff. Yes. Okay, so we've been into the Minions Cafe. You can see the Minions are all over the kitchen. Matt, are you overwhelmed with excitement? I am, yeah. I've got the Minions all around me. I have a banana bread beer, yep. which evidently is what Minions drink when yeah. they need a beer. Yeah. So Only off hours. Only off hours, yeah. not when they're building inventions of evilness. It tastes like banana bread. I mean, I it, smell it? It tastes very hoppy, but it tastes like banana bread. Yeah. No. <laughs> It has almost an artificial banana taste to it. Um, it's good. I like it, yeah. yeah. And then I also got one of these. I feel like when we came here opening day, it was so crazy that I really couldn't, I, I didn't get to try much of this. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna kind of enjoy all the minion festivities. Yeah. Oh, you're, good. Oh, you're good. Hello, first of all. Hey. Oh, we got the peanut butter and jelly with yes. the minion seal of approval on it. Thank Sounds you. Good. And then Otto's pet rock. Yep. Just one thing, just eat it, don't trade it for anything. Okay. That's my one tip. Otherwise, I will be eating it. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds good. Um, Enjoy. Thank you. All right, then the rest of our stuff came here. This is the kids' meal with like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then the only reason we got this is because I wanted to try the minion tots and goo wanted that. And it was only like $2 more or something like that. And then this here is the pet rock, which we've heard good things about. Yeah. 
the excited goo. I was told not to trade my pet rock. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna eat it instead. Mm -hmm. But either way, I, I think if anything, the theming is still holding up here. I love the theming here, so this is this is great. You wanna try a minion taunt? Yeah. Let's Get see. That's fun. Nice guy. Look at them. They're incredible. They're tater tots. You're gonna eat yeah. the nice guy. I am. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Has a good flavor on the outside. It tastes like a happy face fry. In a way. Very good. Yeah. yeah. They're decent. They look like minions. What more could you want? I feel like they could put pictures of the minion and, and it looks like in the picture, but when you get out of your table, it looks nothing like a minion. Mm -hmm. But this still. And you're lucky looks... because minion tots have run out. Yeah, yeah. yeah minion they tots keep are running out, but they have them now. Look, it even has like the glasses on. Yeah. And there's two different ones. This there's one has details. two eyes. These are so, great. Yeah. I feel like when we were here, we really didn't show how great these things look. But here's the Uncrustable. The minion, minion seal it. of approval on it. And, and very sealed, very good. It's hot too, so maybe it'll be nice. Mm -hmm. It's Uncrustable, but it's hot. And the texture from the press is kind of nice. It's really basic, but it's also, it's a fun take on it. If you like peanut butter and jelly, as a kid's meal, this is fun. All right, and now Goo has all those pet rock here. Nice guy. Yeah. You're gonna try them, you're I'll gonna cut them open. I'll say the pet rock and the kids meal were like the same price. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if it's good. Yeah. It's a peanut butter mousse with strawberry jelly, peanuts, and banana cake dipped in a chocolate shell. Wow. So we're gonna Are you gonna There you oh, go. That is hard. <laughs> oh there you can see the fill in there. Yeah. Oh wow. I can't believe you did that. It's gonna be hard because I feel like some bites you're not gonna get the cake in it. So Some bites you're not gonna get the filling. I know. That's pretty good. You want you want to try it? Yeah, maybe I'll yeah. try it. I, I feel like really... Matt's not a huge moose person, but I feel like he's gonna give us our expert opinion here. Let's see. It is good. I like yeah. it. You get the peanut butter. You get the peanut butter flavor. Not a whole lot of the filling flavor. Um, I feel like the filling is more of a texture thing. But overall, I think it's good. I like the cake at the bottom. I wish there was more of it because it doesn't really cover the entire bottom. It's just a little bit. You're, you're getting that peanut butter and jelly flavor too, which yeah, is good. You are. Yeah. It looks great. It tastes great. I think this was a good one. So which peanut butter and jelly was better, the sandwich or the dessert? Well, the sandwich was pretty much just a, basically an uncrustable and a press. Yeah. So the, the dessert was definitely better. But I mean, if you want like a simple uncrustable, it's not a bad option to have <laughs> here. A good banana. There you go. Thank you. I so, also just noticed on our way out, look, everything has eyes. They're like the googly eyes that yeah. come on that pet rock. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen, so the minions where there was like the young Gru, mm -hmm. apparently there was some subplot with the pet rock. Oh. And they put like googly eyes on everything. Yeah, see, I haven't so, seen yeah, that. Yeah, I haven't seen that one, but I bet, this is fun. There's always so many fun details. I really like the sign behind you too. <laughs> they should sell that. They should, yeah, That's I would great. buy it. Yeah. It's fun, I came here opening day. If you guys want to see more details on the restaurant, we'll link it on the description. Yeah, you were like the third person in here. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was fun. But I feel like they've added a couple things. It's, I'm, or at least that I'm just noticing more details. But either way, good, good, good snack here. That was, that was great. I guess the Fourth of July crowds are kind of starting to come now. Yeah, yeah. Because just as we left, the line for Minion Cafe is like out the door. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's happening. There's crowds coming it's, and going all it's day. It's still not that bad though. Yeah. Because there were probably like seven or eight people in front of us, and we waited maybe five yeah. minutes. And so. the tables were all empty. There were plenty yeah, of empty yeah, tables. Yeah. But yeah. Either way, we're gonna walk around the park, see what else is new, enjoy Universal Studios, and we'll see what we do. Being that it's the third of the July, crowds are definitely here, yeah, and most wait we, times are terrible. The more we get into the park, the more yeah. we're seeing the crowds. This is the more I'm ready to leave. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't really know what we're gonna be doing here. We'll maybe loop around, maybe check out some other things, but we might be head back to City Walk soon. Yeah. See, even John's worried. The, yeah. the crowds are making him even mad. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, we just went back into Diagon Alley. I tried to get a butter beer, but Goo would hear none of it because he's hot and he's in a. There was a three hour mood. line. I don't care. I, I care. Wow. But I'm hot. It's busy. It's the busiest I've ever seen Universal. That doesn't mean much because I never come here. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess what we're going to do from here then is head to City Walk because at City Walk they have a new donut, they have some new ice cream, they have probably some other new something. I feel like find. we really haven't been to City Hawk in a while, so yeah. we'll go explore there. Even though we were just there. Yeah, well, we'll see any other like 4th of July festivities going on, but it's been fun. A lot of really great things to do today. We have some characters out meeting and greeting today. I'm not sure 
what these ones are named, but I know they're from Trolls. Apparently they switch with the Madagascar characters oh. too. So you have a lot of really fun things. Wow. Yeah. You want to meet them? I don't really want to wait in lines. I yeah. want to get away from the crowds and the heat. Yeah. So I think we're going to leave. On our way out though, we stopped in the studio store to yeah. check out some merchandise. I like this shirt. Yeah. You just got Luigi, but does it say... It doesn't say... Oh, it says Super Mario Bros. Movie. Yeah. So it's... um. Yeah. Movie merchandise, I guess. That's kind of like fun. Some... $30. That's, not terrible. Yeah, that's fun. I yeah. feel like they have a whole collection. They have like a Mario shirt over here, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The Mario one. Is there another one there? There is a Toad one. I yeah, think. Toad. Nice guy. That's fun. Fear nothing. And also, they do have a fairly recent Minions popcorn bucket, which I guess in kind of like a new outfit, which I, I guess is pretty cool. And the outfit comes off apparently, yeah, too. Yeah. So you can get this for $29.99. Plus tax. Also, I've never seen this before. You can buy a minion. I wonder you can, if like, these buy outfits clothes. would fit the popcorn bucket. Probably not. <laughs> Probably They're a not. little bit different size. But that's but fun. You can like yeah. buy the minion. Buy the clothes for the minion. Mm -hmm. It's like Build-A-Bear. Yeah, yeah. And that's great. You want an E.T. I like E.T. Yeah. yeah. E.T. is a nice guy. They had a cool E.T. shirt in the other yeah. store. But... I, I do like that they have some more classic merchandise, which I think is great here. Well, now that we made it to City Walk, we did come over to Voodoo Donuts because they have a new donut for the 4th of July. Goo's gonna sit in a donut chair. What do you think, Goo? It's so, it's so incredibly hot. Yeah. There's so much I wanna do here today, but I don't know how much longer I can last. Mm -hmm. But we'll get a donut, we'll see what else we can do. I'm hungry for a donut, so I don't know. You never know. Now, Goo did actually opt to mobile order his Voodoo Donut, which I've heard is not the greatest idea. He what? just put his mobile order in now, so I think we'll be starting the timer to see how long it takes. It's a great idea. I've heard it's not a very good idea here at Universal. I want my donut, that's all I want. We'll see what happens. Well, here he is after only 12 minutes of waiting for his donut, who has returned. So it donut said it was hand. ready, and it said to go to the kiosk over there, mm -hmm. but nobody was at the kiosk. So apparently you pick it up in there if nobody's there? Yeah. Well, apparently they have a mobile order pickup in there for some yeah. reason, so here's my donut. We'll see if it's good. Oh, this looks fun. Wow. It's very patriotic looking. Yeah. If sticky I do too. say so myself. Oh, sticky. Oh, gosh. Can I have some sprinkles? Yeah. You gonna try it? Well, luckily there's a restroom over there so I can wash my hands. But we're, we're gonna try it out. It tastes very patriotic. You have like a jelly filling. Wow. It's just a good donut. I feel like when it comes to like special donuts, sometimes you build up like, oh, it's gonna be something super unique. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple donut, but I feel like it's still pretty good. Yeah. And while Goo was waiting, I did get a strawberry lemonade from over here at Auntie Anne's. It was pretty decent. It's refreshing. I think a good size too. It was $4.79, which is just a few dollars more than a regular drink. So not a bad deal, I think. Well, from there, we're very patriotic. We got our donuts, we yeah. did everything. Yeah, we're also However, very hot. Yeah, very hot. So. I think from here we're probably going to start to wrap things up. I think it's been a great day here at Universal. So honestly, thank you guys so much for coming along. I know it wasn't the longest adventure we've done here today, but I think it was a lot of fun to show you guys one of our favorite locations. Yeah. Check out some of the park a little bit, see some crowds. I think it's been a great day. Yeah. But honestly, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo. And a happy 4th of July to each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys later. And, um, yeah.